Hi guys! Welcome to another video with me, Teddy. For this video, we are going to talk about farming. What are the heroes? Uh, what are the specific heroes effective for specific tiles? What are the tips or what are the things that you need to do to maximize or increase your gathering speed in the wilderness? But first, I want to show you and how it looks like in my state a day before capital clash as you can see some of the alliances already moved to the capital in preparation for tomorrow there and then let's take a look to with the governor the current governor is Hogan I think he also like bears and then Hall of Famers Reisner Pinky me I'll find fact about that I was with one up before for a few months and then i moved to two up one up and two up our brother alliances it's just like one but at just with different leaders but at the same time uh it's because they can't fit 200 people in one clan in one alliance anyway so this it's all one up one up one up so enough for that so let's go to my settlement so first tip always set your talents and economy especially during gathering resources stage of of survival of the fittest or the special events that you usually do they put up gathering resources points so always set up and up i mean this account is already max in building so i don't really need that construction development thing it's all of them are max i am just waiting for I'm just collecting plasma to upgrade it level three but i need at least 129 more plasma 130. so first tip set your talents to echo mode because this lorries here as you can see the ones with the lorries gives you gathering speed in the wilderness so there up to here so i have 172 points so i struck it up most of the time i don't really use the first here the top ones i just uh, uh put points on the lower part for the requirements needed i will make another video on tips on how to maximize your talent points and get a uh, better stats when it comes to war on another video but for now, we'll just focus first on gathering or gathering speed. So there and up to here. So every time I just wanted to fill all the ones with the lorries. And then now what I need now at this rate is a tool improvement because I'm not done researching my battle mode yet. I haven't maxed that and I haven't maxed my development as at the same time because it takes a while, like three, four, five days six days of research so there once you activated your economy after you switch to economy and fill in the specific nodes that there's that are needed for gathering in the wilderness second one is for you to activate your why well, keep clicking plasma activate your settlement buff so you go here to development and as you can see i already activated a one day uh, gathering speed by 100 percent for 24 hours so some players use this the 50 percent for eight hours or the 50 percent for 12 hours or 50 percent for 24 hours but they're just like only costing you like 100 under 100 buy caps for this one and then this one the mega gathering boost will only cost you 600 buy caps and that is already good for one day so most of the time i'll just use this i save up my bio cups and then use it efficiently with other buffs that i needed especially before when i was building gathering speed training capacity training capacity you can use that during uh uh like survival of the fittest and other events as well same with construction and research the last four parts they are in this game it's not they are not really needed like you know i don't even research the 
economy the econ the economic part in research lab for for this it's because you, you don't really need resources it's not really hard to get them it's, it's i mean you need resources but it's not really hard to get them in this game unlike other games that you really need to burn your eyebrows just to get a lot of resources but for this one it's not really that bad so after you activated that one day gathering speed by 100 100 percent next is we need to know what are the heroes that are allocated on specific tiles for food we have mike but my mic is only level 61 so his gathering speed is plus 17 so we already have 100 percent gathering speed from settlement buffs and then we add up 17 percent on uh from mike if we use mike and then for wood we have chef we have 16.20 because it's only 60 and then rusty for metal and then ghost for gas please make note that this percentage or the percent of the buffs that they are giving you depends on the level of your heroes at the same time so they rank up at the same time so after that we are ready to go so we go to wilderness and let's start being farmers we can farm maybe potatoes but no i'm just joking so first you go to instead of farming lower levels if you are like on a, if you already have t8 or t9 and you have a full march try to go to at least six to seven uh level tiles instead of wasting your time collecting one to level one or level three three uh tiles so for me since i have t uh, t10 and i have t9 I go to T8, uh, T yeah, level 8 uh, resources style. So first we find food that is full there. Gotcha. So we have 13. So what I do is I clear it. I will add Mike because Mike got boost for gathering boost for food. And then I will assign him. And one thing that I do is most of the time, I don't really add other heroes here. Because we don't really getting, we are not re really getting killed by anyone during kill events in this state. Unless someone wants points, they just wanted to help farms, but farming tiles, but it's not really that happening. Or we can add, let's say we add, we add them. Let's put all the heroes to work. But make sure that you added Mike first. So for you to, for you to be able to add more troops if you're that lazy you can click equalize and then just move it and then adjust it so we have 13 so we put in a play 14 so that's it he's on his way to his farming tile second is wood and that is chef so go chef then again clear all add chef because chef is effective with wood and I want him to just work alone. I don't want other heroes to add this up. So again, equalize. And then we add, making him 14. There he goes. And then the third one is rusty for metal. So metal is, hey, I'm already there. Why did you move me? So there. And then we add rusty again. Rusty. And then again, I just want him to work alone. I don't want him. So, three million. I put in three million. And then for the last but not the least, ghost. Clear all ghost. Then equalize. My state is not really as bad as others where some players just wanted to kill each other every day, even hitting tiles. So we don't really have that. The only rules for us, it's not really a state rule that was agreed by the leaders, but it's more like a mutual agreement between alliances. That, Like for example, during fortress or bunker fights, we don't attack settlements. No attack on settlements, just the bunker. 
same with capital clash no attacks on settlements only attacks the for the the towers or the middle and we somehow worked it way but earlier it it takes a while for us to figure that things out with all these leaders so let's wait for them to land all of them so for example you are in a not so friendly state do not send just the equalized troops always send full troops just in case someone attacks you you know and remember that all attacks on your tiles you don't lose troops in there both sides the attacker and the defender only lose true uh only get your troops wounded until your hospital capacity so that somehow some players use that as a trick on how to get points during a uh, killing event or they just wanted to rank up on leaderboards with minimal damages on both sides you know so all our farmers are out and my timer shows me it takes me almost five hours for all tire for all tiles to finish so the last tip that i'm going to give you is during events where gathering resources is required like it's a stage like for example the survival of the fittest and then special events so a little tip for you guys what i do is for me to get points immediately with gathering for example it takes me five hours to to finish a tile so what i do is on 19 UTZ or yeah 19 UTZ or 20 UTZ I before the reset or five days before the reset for gathering resources I send out all my tiles so by the time they'll come back at 7 a.m that is like a reset time where I'm at or 8 30 or 7 I already got points for gathering resources which is handy for me so that's it I hope this video is going to help you in some ways in how to maximize your your farming. Until next video guys, thank you, bye.